the very large book of pets. But Dad, I want a real puppy. A real puppy is way more fun. Pets are a lot of work, Justin. I know, but I take care of him. Please. I'm not sure you're ready to take care of a real pet, but I'll talk to Mom, okay? Hmm. I could take care of a real pet. You take good care of me. Yeah, Mom and Dad make the rules. <laughs> Imagine if we made the rules. Yeah, like a prince. If I was a prince, I'd get any pet I wanted. Like a mouse? Or a moose. Maybe a hippopotamus. That would be awesomeness. A prince needs a crown. Arise, Prince Justin. Prince Justin. I like that. Take me to the royal... Uh, head place! Roger Justin, welcome to India. Olive! Um, what's a Raja? A Raja is an Indian prince. So, I'm a prince. And I can get whatever I want? Right. Whatever you want. I just want a pet. Hey, Olive, do you think you can help? You bet I can. I'm the royal pet keeper. Follow me. <laughs> well, Roger, Justin, are you ready to select your new pet? You bet, Olive. Bring me the very large book of pets, please. <laughs> Can we get a mouse? Hmm. Mice are nice, but I was thinking of something bigger. How about a skunk? Uh, Ew, too just stinky. Take it. Hmm. Do you like snakes? Ah! No snakes! Ah! Squidgy hates snakes. Wait, go back. Perfect. That's the one I want. A pet elephant. One pet elephant coming up. <laughs> Did she come with instructions? Bring me the book of pets, please. Care of elephants. Rule number one. Elephants like lots of playtime. To the royal playground! Okay, Tiny. Hop, hop. Uh, let's go, Tiny. This place. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, girl. We can get it fixed. Hey, how does this thing work? Whoa! <laughs> hey, anyone want to get dizzy? Yeah! Come on, Tiny! Don't worry, Tiny. It's not your fault. Here, let's check out this slide.
I don't think they made this playground for elephants. She's one big elephant. That's okay. We'll find something else that's fun. What else do elephants like? Bring me the Book of Pets, please. Care of elephants, rule number two. Elephants like lots of exercise, like going for a walk. Taking care of tiny is easy. so hard. I knew having a pet would be fun, but all this running around's made me hungry. Let's get some snacks. Thanks. Mmm, these look good. Ooh, cakes! Whoa! Uh, maybe I'll just have a drink. <laughs> it must be Tiny's dinner time. Bring me the book of pets, please. Rule number three. Feed your pet elephant lots of food. Huh, what do elephants eat? Jelly beans? Pizza! No, popcorn! Let's see. It says here that elephants love peanuts. Nice catch, Tiny. Hey, this is pretty easy. One left, Tiny. Whoa, I guess she's done. Me too. Huh, me three. All this fun is making me sleepy. I'm ready for a royal nap. <sighs> uh, guys, before we do that, Tiny did a little oopsie over there. Whoa, that's the biggest little oopsie I've ever seen. What does the very large book say about this, Olive? Rule number four. Always clean up after your pet. Looking after pets is easy peasy. <laughs> and smelly welly. Oh! <sighs> I am so tired. What do we do now? Bring me the Book of Pets, please. Here it is, rule number five. Pets need naps, especially elephants. Well, maybe I could sleep someplace else? No need. It's time to wake her up anyway. Wake her up? Uh-huh. The last rule is repeat all the other rules. So that means... More playtime? Play yep. And more exercise. More exercise! And naps. Oh, and of course, more cleaning up, too. And peanuts! Don't forget the peanuts! Ah! Whoa! I'm sorry, Tiny. We're all out of peanuts. <sighs> I want Tiny to have fun and get exercise and all that other stuff, but I know. Having a pet is way more work than you thought. But that's okay. I have an idea. Follow me. This is the perfect place for Tiny. Look! Yeah, I think she'll be happy here. <laughs> Definitely. Whoa! <laughs> Tiny! 
Hey, you ready for bed, Justin? Uh-huh. Hey, Dad? I can just turn this puppy off. You can't do that with a real pet, can you? <laughs> no, no, you can't. A real puppy would be a lot of work. So, could we go to the zoo instead? That way I could see any animal I wanted. Hey, that's a great idea, Justin. We'll go tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Dad. Good night, Justin. Who stole my cat? You can't get me. You're never gonna catch me. Stop right there. Where'd you go, Justin? Here I am. <gasps> what is it, Justin? Uh-oh. Did we do that? Nope. I think it was already broken. But if I didn't break it and you didn't break it, then who broke it? Someone must have come and knocked the vase off the table. Who could it be, Justin? Hmm. Well, we didn't see anyone upstairs when we came down, so whoever it was had to have gone down the hallway. Come on, Squidgy. We've got a mystery to solve. Oh, I love Another day in the city, and boy, was it hot. All I could think of was a tall, cool, refreshing water slide. A big one. Well, that juice wasn't as refreshing as a water slide, but it sure hit the spot. I had a feeling this moment wouldn't last. Justin, it's really dark in here. How can we see what you're doing? Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Welcome to New York City. This is our private investigator's office. We're investigators? What's an investigator? Investigators help people solve mysteries. Yeah, we need to ask lots of questions and look for clues. Oh, I love looking for clues. Great. It's tough solving mysteries with just my sketches. How do you solve mysteries by drawing? I'll show you. Give me a few clues about someone and I'll draw them. <gasps> Can I try? Okay, he's covered in fuzzy brown fur, has two black button eyes and cute round ears. Is this who you're thinking of? <laughs> the Moo Moo Bear! That's amazing, Olive. I can't wait for a mystery. Who is it? Hello, my name is Mildred. I do hope you can help. Come on in. I'm Justin, and this is Squidgy and Olive. What's the matter? I am ever so worried. My dear kitten Humphrey has gone missing. Did he run away? No, he never goes far from home. I can't find him anywhere. Hmm, sounds like a mystery. So, if Humphrey didn't run away, that means someone took him. <gasps> Don't worry, Mildred. We'll find out who did it. Yeah, and we'll bring Humphrey back. You can count on us. Oh, marvelous. Thank you ever so much for helping me. Now, Mildred, where did you last see Humphrey? Why, at my apartment, across town. All right, we've got a mystery to solve. <whistles> Taxi! <laughs> to Mildred's apartment, please. That was fast. Mildred, what does Humphrey look like? His coat is the most handsome shade of gray. He has a small black nose and bright yellow eyes. Like this? Oh, my dear sweet Humphrey! I miss you ever so much! That is to say, your lovely sketch looks just like him. Mildred, when did you discover that Humphrey was missing? Just after lunch. Mildred, you had pizza for lunch, right? Oh, what kind? Ham and pineapple. No anchovies, of course. And what happened after lunch? I was going to paint a picture, and Humphrey was sitting right here. I only stepped away for a moment, and when I came back, Humphrey was gone. Look! I think I found something. Paw prints. Rainbow paw prints. Maybe the person who took Humphrey is actually another kitten. A kitty with rainbow feet. Have you seen any other cats in the neighborhood? Well, there's Betsy next door. She wears a rainbow-colored collar. A rainbow? Like the paw prints. That's who took Humphrey. Let's follow this trail. This way. The trail ends here, but no 
sign of Betsy or Humphrey. <gasps> That's Betsy! Pardon me, Betsy. Were you at Mildred's earlier? And don't try anything funny, see? Well, you weren't in Mildred's kitchen? Then where did you get this milk from? <coughs> oh, the milkman left it for you. Can you describe the milkman? <coughs> He's skinny and has short hair. <coughs> he wears a white uniform with a red bow tie. <coughs> and a hat. Something like this? That's Milkman Stan. Aha! If Betsy didn't take Humphrey, it must be Milkman Stan. <gasps> there he is! That's him! Thanks for your help, Betsy. Whoa. Hello? Milkman Stan? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, that's me. We are private investigators. We have some questions about a missing kitten, a kitten named Humphrey. Humphrey is missing? I had no idea. So, you say you're a milkman, huh? Yes, indeed. I deliver milk to people's houses. Then how do you explain this empty bottle of milk? Uh, I like to feed cats along my milk route. See? I see. His story checks out. You know, I did stop to give Humphrey and Betsy milk near Mildred's apartment earlier. Did you see anyone else there? As a matter of fact, I did. A fellow with dark eyebrows, a round nose, and a mustache. Like this? Yes, that's the ticket. That's a genio from a genio's pizzeria. Aha, he must have taken Humphrey to a genio's pizzeria. Thanks for your help, Stan. We could have walked. Hello, Eugenio. We're private investigators Justin, Olive, and. Enough of the small talk! It's time to spill the beans! We're looking for a missing kitten. We think he might be here. Hey, I'm up to my neck in sauce and dough here. I don't have room for a little kitty. All right, but how do we know this is your pizza shop? Yeah, his story checks out. Uh, that pizza box looks familiar, though. Yeah, I'm sure we've seen it before. It's the same pizza box we saw in Mildred's apartment. Got that right. I delivered a pizza there myself, but I didn't see a kid in there. I'm real sorry, miss. We've been looking everywhere. <coughs> Humphrey? Is that you? This isn't looking good for you, Eugenio. You said you didn't know anything about a missing kitten. Oh, me? Oh, I've never heard that meow before. Not once, not ever. <coughs> wow. Humphrey! I'm ever so happy I found you. <coughs> you. Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have guessed it was a little kitty eating all my anchovies? What's that, Humphrey? No anchovies? That's right, no anchovies. That was Mildred's order for the pizza. Indeed, anchovies are positively disgusting. <laughs> so that's why Humphrey is here. He wanted anchovies. Wow. He must have climbed in through the back window. And look at his paws. Rainbow paws! There. Humphrey must have walked through Mildred's paint set. So that means... It wasn't Betsy who took Humphrey. And it wasn't Milkman Stan. And it wasn't a genio either. Nobody took Humphrey. He just ran off on his own. Genio, I'm sorry I assumed you took Humphrey. I should have looked at all the clues first. Hey, forget about it, Justin. No big whoop, huh? Thank you all for finding Humphrey. You are the best investigators in all of New York City. Thanks, Mildred. Thanks, Humphrey. You kids want to solve a real mystery, though. Hey. How about the mystery of who's going to eat all this pizza I made, huh? <laughs> huh? Hey, what I say? It's the best pizza in town. <laughs> We've got to go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Mildred. Bye, Eugenio. Bye, Humphrey. Wow. Hmm. I didn't know.
noticed this cord here before. <gasps> Maybe it's a clue, Justin. Oh, yeah. Dad was supposed to vacuum today. Dad, Dad! I solved the mystery of the broken vase. Really? I was wondering who broke it. Did you hear the vase crash when you were vacuuming? Uh-huh, I did. See, this cord is connected to the wall, and it made the table wobble here when it was pulled by the vacuum cleaner. Oh, so I broke the vase when I was vacuuming. I'll have to be more careful next time. Great detective work, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Case closed. Show and tell. Hmm. <gasps> hey, Justin! Look what I found! What is it, Squidgy? Whoa! Look at the size of him! <laughs> He's perfect for my backyard zoo. Uh-huh! There you go, buddy. Here's your new home. What a cute, fuzzy thing. <laughs> He's a caterpillar. Oh, so now we've got this caterpillar. And this spider. And this cute little worm. He sure is a cutie. Now let's find some more animals for our backyard zoo. Yeah, I love animals. There must be something in... Whoa, whoa. A frog. You'll be perfect for my zoo. Mom, look what I found. My goodness, that's a big frog, Justin. Yeah, I'm going to bring my zoo for show and tell. Do you think your animal friends are happy in those jars? Hmm. Oh, these roses need a little water. I'll be right back. Hmm, these animals look pretty happy to me. Yeah, let's go find some more. Oh, a butterfly. <laughs> I'll get it. Aw, <laughs> oh, he got away. Bye-bye, Mr. Butterfly. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Olive! Say cheese. Cheese! Welcome to the Galapagos Islands. Isn't it beautiful? Sure is. Are there any animals here? We're looking for animals for our zoo. There are lots of amazing animals here. We just have to find them. Well, we're great at finding animals. We most certainly are. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go, then. The map says we are in Big Bird Bay. I don't see any big birds. Well, there should be a big bird somewhere around here. You found one, Squidgy. I see a big beak, but no big birds. Behind you. What? Ah! That beak's attached to a bird! A big bird. It's a flamingo. Say cheese. <laughs> Hello, I'm Justin. Um, do you want to be in our zoo? <laughs> What's she saying, Squidgy? She doesn't know what a zoo is. It's a place where people can come see how beautiful you are. Wanna come? Huh? Oh, oh, she has a friend over there who might want to come too. Great, let's go. It's a rock? Look! 
What's that? It's a dinosaur! <laughs> it looks like a huge lizard. It is. It's an iguana. An iguana? An iguana. It's a type of lizard. Cool. You're the biggest lizard I've ever seen. You have to be in our zoo. <laughs> no, it's not that. Tell him, Justin. It's a big place where people come and see how amazing you are. <laughs> oh, he said yes! This zoo is going to be the best! What other animals can we find? Hmm. <laughs> he says there's a giant tortoise on the next beach. A giant tortoise? Oh, boy. Let's go find her. Lead the way, Mr. Iguana. He says the tortoise is usually here. Maybe she went swimming. Hmm. Nope. Don't see a tortoise here. I wonder where she could be. Hmm. Whoa! Hey, we're riding a tortoise. Awesome. Tortoise taxi! Giddy up! I wonder where she's taking us. What are those things? They look like ping pong balls. Hey, that one's moving. <coughs> A baby tortoise. Aw, look, he's so tiny. <coughs> wow, you can all be in our zoo. <coughs> A zoo's a place where people can come and see how huge you are. Oh, and how teeny you are. leave now. I guess it's time to get the animals ready, Justin. Hmm. Hey, everyone. Come here. Are we going to the zoo? No, Squidgy. Our zoo is really nice, but it's not nearly as nice as this place. This is your home. You should stay here. We'll be much happier here. But what will we do with our zoo? <laughs> Wait, that's it. Olive's camera. Put a camera in a zoo? No, silly. Justin means we can take pictures of the animals. Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, and then we can show the pictures to everyone. Great. Say cheese. Closer to Mama, please. Cheese! These are great pictures. 
shoes, Olive. <laughs> look at my hair! <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can look at the animals we found. Mm -hmm. Justin, where are you? <laughs> That's Mom. We have to go. Come on, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Bye, guys. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Mom, I think I have an idea. Oh? Instead of bringing my zoo to show and tell, I can bring pictures. Can you help me? Of course I can help you. Then it's time to take these little guys home. Bye, little spider. Bye, little caterpillar. Bye, little worm. Bye-bye, little froggy. Finding Phoebe! Squeegee! Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> You're sure good at hide and seek, Justin. It's easy to find you because you're bright and yellow. Honey, is this everything for the charity box? I don't want to forget anything before I take it away. Hey, Squidgy, let's sneak up on Mom and Dad and surprise them. Yep, that's everything. Do you have any laundry? Oh, don't forget about Moo Moo Bear. <laughs> right, can't forget about him. <gasps> Moo Moo Bear! Mom and Dad are taking Moo Moo Bear away in the charity box. Where's he going? He's not going anywhere, Squidgy. Come on. To the rescue! Wow! Oh, nice hat, Justin. You have a nice hat too, Squidgy. Oh, I do? <laughs> I do! Those are musketeer hats. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the French countryside. Hey, you have a musketeer hat, too. We're all musketeers. We're the queen's special helpers. How do you know when the queen needs help? Olive, I need your help. Bonjour, your royal highness. Musketeers Justin, Squidgy, and I are at your service. What can we help you with, Your Highness? My darling, precious Princess Fifi is... missing. A princess? She's missing? What can we do? This sounds like a rescue. We musketeers can help. Right? Right! What does Princess Fifi look like? Ah, she has shimmery golden hair and a sparkly diamond necklace around her neck. Oh, she sounds beautiful. Do you know where she might have gone? Well, it is cookie day at the market and my darling precious Princess Fifi just loves her special royal cookies. Cookies. The market. Got it. Don't worry, your royal highness. We'll rescue the princess and bring her back safe and sound. To the rescue! First, we have to do the musketeer salute. When I say, all for one, you say, and one for all. Got it? Got, Got it. it! All for one. And one for all! And you, my royal musketeers, I know you will not fail. Ah, Princess Vivi, where are you? Ah, ha, ha, ha. bonjour! You've come for a cookie, haven't you? Well, no, we're actually... I have cookies of all kinds. All kinds? Oh, of course! Shortbread, lemon drop, oatmeal raisin, peanut butter, <gasps> chocolate chip, chocolate chunks, and this! My latest creation, I call it the Cookie Royale! Cookie Royale! Have a taste. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Interesting. Yes, it's tuna and oatmeal. 
Tuna and oatmeal? What princess would eat a tuna cookie? <laughs> oh, what an exciting taste combination! <laughs> Oh, the oatmeal is sweet and chewy, and the tuna adds just the right amount of tang. I know! A Princess Vivi has adventurous taste. I make these cookies just for her. So you've seen her? Bien sûr! She has the prettiest green eyes you've ever seen, and the teeny tiniest little feet. So cute. I mean, have you seen her today? Yes, she was just here. She was so happy with the cookie royale, she grabbed it and ran off. Did you see which way she went? Oh, um, uh, uh, that way. Hey, is that a cookie crumb? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's tuna and oatmeal. There's a whole trail of cookie crumbs. And they lead right down the road. That must be the way Princess Fifi went. Let's go. All for one, and one for all! Bye-bye! Hello. We are the Three Musketeers, and we are looking for Princess Fifi. Oh, Princess Fifi? Uh, you just miss her. Really? Where did she go? I'm afraid to say that beast of mine chased her off again. Oh, no! A beast? Chasing a princess? Oh, yes. That beast just loves to chase Princess Vivi. We have to find her. Which way did she go? Well, I saw them run off that way, down the road. Oh, just follow the crumbs. Come on, musketeers. I'm sure they'll be back soon. After all, it is almost dinner time for my little beastie. The trail of crumbs ends here. Look! The beast must have taken the princess to the tower. We have to do something. Come on, to the rescue! Excuse me, we're looking for the princess. What? Princess Fifi is in this tower? We have to rescue her. <coughs> that beast must have locked her inside. Oh no! Now what do we do? Hey, there's a window. We're going to need to get up there to rescue the princess. All right, musketeers, let's do this together. All for one and one for all. Olive, you get on my shoulders. Right. Up you go, Squidgy. Whoa. We're coming to get you. Okay, everyone. Stretch! Princess Fifi? Hey, everybody! I found Princess Fifi! Yay! We did it! Wait a minute. How are we going to get her down? Oh, I can just carry her. You can? Sure. Meet Princess Fifi! Princess Fifi is a kitty cat! <laughs> wow, I thought we were looking for a real princess. <laughs> I'm glad she's safe, but I wonder where that beast is. <gasps> B beast? Oh, you little beast. Why must you always chase Princess Fifi around, huh? The beast? <coughs> Is it a puppy? Oh, Princess Fifi, there you are. Bonjour, bonjour. Anyone for cookies? 
<rire> Princesse Pipi, how about some more cookie royal, hein? Oh, I want peanut butter. Chocolate chunk for me. Oh, oh, I'll have lemon drop and oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip. And uh, do you have any white chocolate macadamia nut? <laughs> Oh, thank you, my royal musketeers. You found my little princess. It's so funny. We thought that Princess Fifi was a real princess, not a cat. Yeah, and the beast turned out to be a cute little puppy. <laughs> I mean, who knew? I guess things aren't always what they seem at first. We would have never figured it out if we didn't work together. All for one, and one for all! Justin! There's my mom. I'd better go. Merci, Justin. No problem, Your Highness. We were happy to rescue the princess. Bye! Bye! Goodbye! Bye-bye, salut! Adieu! Bye, everyone! Mom! Dad, wait! You can't! Can't what, son? You can't put Moo Moo Bear in the charity box. Moo Moo Bear in the charity box? We'd never do that. No, but we would put him in the laundry. He needs a wash. Hmm, Moo Moo, you didn't need to be rescued after all. Jumbo loves gumbo. Nah. Mm. Hey, Justin. What you doing? Whoa! Hey, who turned out the lights? Squidgy? Can't play now. I'm looking for my alligator. The squishy, squeaky one? I want to play with him in the bath. I'll check under the bed. Good idea, Squidgy. <clears throat> no. Hi, Justin. What are you looking for? My squeaky alligator. Have you seen it? You left it in the bath last night, so I put it away for you. It's in the bathroom closet. Thanks, Mom. Hey, Squidgy, did you hear what Mom said? Did you say it's under Mom's bed? I think Mom said it's in the back of the closet. That's where we'll find my alligator. Have you ever found a real alligator? They don't live around here. They live way down deep. Deep in the swamp. Oh. Whoa. Bonjour, Justin. Bonjour, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to the Louisiana Bayou. Hey, Olive. What's a bayou? See this twisty water with all them trees and little islands? This is a bayou. Aye! Uncle Anton! Hey, hey! I'd like you to meet my good friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hi! Bonjour, Justin and Squidgy. Y'all must be here for the Fado do, do What's a Fado do, do Why, a Fado do, do is a Louisiana dance party. And all my friends are coming over for some of my world-famous gumbo stew. Mmm, gumbo delicious! Ah, 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 that's not ready yet. Not till the sun goes down. That's when the party really starts. Yeah. Wow, a real alligator. Yep, that's my good friend Jumbo. And he sure loves my gumbo. He can smell it cooking from clear across the bayou. He sure can. And I can't hardly wait until the sun goes down and I can try some of that gumbo at the Fay Dodo. <laughs> wait till you see them fireflies show up to light up the night. Oh, pack my craw daddy cakes. I was so busy making my gumbo, I forgot to go to Firefly Island and invite the fireflies. Maybe we could go to Firefly Island for you, Uncle Anton. Why, sure. I'd appreciate that very much. Why don't y'all take my boat? Can we? Woohoo! Oh, fiddlesticks. I forgot my firefly basket. I'll be right back. Now the bayou has lots of twists and turns. It's real easy to get yourself lost. Don't worry, Uncle Anton. I'll get us there. Just the same, maybe I'll send Jumbo along to keep you safe. 
<laughs> you never know. Oh, did you hear that, Jumbo? We're going for a ride. First, you go way down the bayou, and when it starts to go this way or that, look for the rock with a freed old mossy face. <laughs> that old mossy face always makes me laugh. I don't know why, I just do. Green mossy face. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Hi, Squidgy. When you hear the singing froggies, you're almost there. Froggies singing. Right. Now, on your way back, you won't be seeing that mossy rock. On account it's the only mossy on one side, mostly because the rain only comes from that side of the mossy rock. You understand? Um, rainy moss. Oh, now hold on, Jumbo. The boat's over there. You got to pay attention real close now. You got to look for the white flower tree. Uh, oh, that's so much better. I didn't bring my swimsuit. <laughs> Did you get that, Justin? Huh? Oh, yeah. Flower tree. I love flowers. Got it. I'm ready. Did Uncle Anton give you directions, Justin? Yep. <laughs> I know this old bio like the back of my hand. Y'all go fetch me those fireflies, and we'll have ourselves the best food to do in all of Louisiana. Aye! Why does he keep going aye? That just means he's happy. We do that here in Louisiana. Well, I'm happy too. Aye! This must be what Uncle Anton meant when he said the bayou goes this way and that. So, do we go this way or that way? Or this way. Uncle Anton said to look for the rock with a mossy face. Hmm, mossy face, huh? Okay. <gasps> hey, do I know you? <laughs> That's the rock with the mossy face. And it looks just like you. Hi there, good looking. Firefly Island, here we come. Justin, are you sure we're still going the right way? Hey, what's that sound? <gasps> it's the singing frogs. We're almost there. This is Clovis, and she says welcome to Firefly Island. Clovis, Uncle Anton sent us to invite you and your friends to his fado do. Want to come? She says she'd love to come. Here, you can ride in my basket. Now let's get back to Anton's party before the sun goes down. Aye. Hey, froggies, want to come to our fado do? Hop on. Aye. Here's where everything goes this way and that way, just like Uncle Anton said. Let me think. On the way to Firefly Island, he said watch for the rock with a mossy face. Uh-huh, I remember that. But on the way back, Anton said watch for the flower tree. But all the trees have flowers. What color flowers, Justin? Um, he said, uh, I guess I wasn't really listening to that part. Well, the sun is going down, and Uncle Anton needs these fireflies. And Jumbo needs some gumbo. <laughs> Squidgy, that's it. Uncle Anton said Jumbo can smell gumbo cooking from clear across the bayou. Do you smell the gumbo, Jumbo? <laughs> okay, Jumbo, go get that gumbo. <laughs> White flowers. There's Uncle Anton. We made it back. Aye! I was wondering when y'all would show up. <laughs> My gumbo's ready to eat. Shh. 
sure smells yummy. <laughs> Sorry. We got a little lost, Uncle Anton. We found the mossy rock and the singing frogs, but then on the way back, we couldn't remember. Ah, you found a white flower tree. We had a little help from Jumbo. <laughs> well, I sure hope you brought me them fireflies. We sure enough did, Uncle Anton. Okay, fireflies, now's the time. Do your thing. A starry sky. Yep, that's real nice. Now, let's get this fade or no started. Aye! <laughs> Squidgy. Bye, Jumbo. See you later, alligator. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that to a real alligator. Bye, Olive. Bye, Uncle Anton. Bye, Bye Justin. Justin. Au revoir, Squidgy. Hey, Justin, we didn't find your squeaky alligator. I'll ask Mom again. Maybe I wasn't listening carefully before. Hey, Mom, did you say my alligator was in the back of the closet? No, honey, the bathroom closet. I put it there after your bath last night. Oh, the bathroom closet. Aye, Squidgy, I found it. Yay, I mean, aye! The Sultan's Wish. Squidgy! Squidgy? Where are you? Are you in your tub? Squidgy, did you forget what day it is? Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Happy birthday, Justin! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Squidgy. I just had the best birthday party ever! Oh. There were presents and games and cake, and it was all just for me. Birthdays are the best. I know. I wish every day was my birthday. Oh, that would be fantabulous. Imagine if I was a king. Yeah. I could make every day my birthday. Right. A king can get whatever he wants. Then I'll be the king. <gasps> Presenting King Justin! All hail the mighty king! <laughs> Good morning, your majesty. Rise and shine. Olive! Welcome to Arabia. Wow! Look at this place. And how is the Sultan this morning? Sultan? I thought it was the king. A Sultan is a king. Oh, then a Sultan can have whatever he wants, right? Absolutely. <gasps> we can have ice cream, fly an airplane, eat pants made of chocolate, or we can fly a giant chicken! <laughs> <laughs> or have a birthday party. I command that from now on, every day will be... My birthday! <gasps> what a great idea! I can be your party planner. Let the mighty Sultan's birthday begin! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Sultan, Sultan Justin! Wow! That was easy! It sure is good to be the Sultan! Time for present, Sultan Justin! <gasps> Wow! Are those presents all for me? Of course. It is your birthday after all. Can I open them? Go for it! Yeah! 
this as well. <laughs> See if you can pin the tail in the right place. Uh. Can't have a birthday without birthday cake. <gasps> cake <gasps> and cookies too. And candies, of course. It wouldn't be a birthday party without special treats. Oh, 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 oh so good. <laughs> <laughs> This has been one awesome birthday. And my tummy thinks so, too. <laughs> but we should all get an early night. After all, tomorrow's a big day. Okay. Good night, Olive. Good night. Good night. And today, and every day. Remember your royal command? Oh, yeah! Awesome! Wake up, Squidgy! Wake up! <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, follow that monkey! Ooh! All that cake is making my tummy wobble. <laughs> Come on, Squidgy! It's party time! Wait a minute. Where are all my toys from yesterday? Yeah, we wanted to play with them. You won't have time. Not with all these. Well, I guess you can never have too many presents. A scooter? This is just what I wanted. Ha <laughs> ha! Time for fun and games! But I really want to play with this! You can! Right after the birthday games and the cake and the presents and then more birthday games and then more games. Huh? <laughs> now, time for pin the tail on the camel! Didn't we do that yesterday? Can we play something else? Hmm. What about... 
pin the tail on the giraffe. It's kind of the same thing. Come on, guys. Why don't you try, Squidgy? <sighs> okay. Olive, I don't think we're ready for games just yet. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's bring out the birthday cake. Cake again. Yes, it's so delicious. Try some. Olive... Could I just maybe have an apple? An apple? On your birthday? I don't think I could eat any more cake. And neither can Squidgy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's your birthday. I know. And I love all the presents. And games. And cake. But... But what? Well, birthdays are fun and all. And this has been the biggest and bestest birthday I've ever had. But, but, but I don't think I want a birthday every day. It just doesn't feel special anymore. Yeah. Then change things back to how they were. I can do that? Of course. You can do anything. You're the Sultan. Yeah, you're the Sultan. Change it back, change it back. In that case, I command my birthday is once a year. Just like everyone else. Ooh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I gotta go. I still have some presents I want to play with back at home. Oh, and take a day off, everyone. That's a royal command. Hooray for the Sultan! Bye, all. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Justin. Did the party tire you out? A little bit. I'm glad birthdays are only once a year. But this was the best one ever. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, birthday boy. And I've got one more present for you. Just from me and Dad. 